upon receiving your Better Butts bidet, um, you want to check the packaging and make sure you have all the components. Of course, your bidet, and then your hardware package, which will include your valve fitting and your line fitting, your water line, and your seat gaskets. And so we'll go to the toilet. Very simple, you just want to, first thing you ever want to do is shut off the water supply. So you'll go to your water valve and you'll take that and you'll shut that off. And flush it to get rid of the water. You want to remove the tank lid. I recommend after you remove that tank lid that you set it down somewhere on the floor out of the way so it doesn't get knocked off and broken. Next, you want to come to your seat hinge and you'll find your bolts, your tank bolts for your seat. You want to remove those with the screwdriver, which is also again very simple. Use your screwdriver. There's a bolt that goes through your tank and a nut underneath. So you'll remove those. Okay, so once the bolts are removed and the nuts are removed, you'll remove the seat. Now with the seat removed, we'll take off the fittings and the water lines. Again, simple and the reason we have the water off. Most of the time, you can do this by hand. If you need your crescent wrench, that's what you have the crescent wrench or the pliers for. Remove that water line from the tank fill valve. Now that you've removed your water line from the tank fill valve, you'll take your fitting and you'll put the larger diameter fitting on the top or the female end and the male end on the bottom. It does have a gasket that's seated inside. So we'll wanna do this and put this on hand tight and then snug it up with your wrench or your pliers just about a quarter of a turn. You don't wanna over tighten it or you risk breaking your plastic fitting that's on your toilet fill valve. So don't over tighten it. But you do want it to be very snug. Okay. Next, we're going to take the seat gaskets. We're going to place those over the holes that your toilet seat bolts are going to go through. Then we're going to take the bidet. You have two bumpers. I recommend placing one vertically and one horizontally so that it's more stable. Next, we're gonna take your toilet seat that has the bolts still in the toilet hinge. And we're gonna install those through the holes. With the toilet seat in place, your hinge bolts. We're gonna put the bolt hardware back onto the bolts and anchor it to the toilet bowl. Okay, with the bolts and the nuts in place, we're gonna tighten those up, get it secure, and then we'll finish it off by connecting the water line to the bidet. Okay, with your toilet seat secure, we'll close the hinge. We'll go to this last water line. 
Now this water line, you're going to a metal, metal, another metal fitting to a plastic fitting. So again, you're gonna to wanna to be very careful and make sure that it goes on. very easily. What you do with the excess water line is totally up to preference. Uh, you could make a, a small loop or you could just take it out of the way. I just take them out of the way and put them near the toilet bowl. And now this time when you use your crescent wrench, you're gonna to wanna to be very careful you don't over tighten it. Um, one half turn, possibly a quarter turn, and you should be good. So we just take that crescent wrench. Hold the water line in place when I finish that last turn to tighten it. Next, we turn the water valve back on. Initially, you want to take it and turn it very slowly because there is pressure. You'll hear the water coming in through your fill valve tower and into the back of the tank. So now we have a full toilet tank. We're going to replace the toilet lid. Toilet lid's replaced. Now we'll test the bidet. has two settings. One, to clean the nozzle. We have that working just fine. And then secondly, we'll test the bidet for the wash. And it'll begin to run. <laughs> 